this video, I'm going to talk about using the transmission node inside of Nuke. So here we have a simple scene, one single light source right now casting onto an object onto the plane. If I look at this in 3D, I have my light source here, I have my card, I have my plane and my camera at this point. So if you have a light, it's usually cast a shadow like this. A lot of times you want to be able to like maybe add a texture to it, which is fine. I'll throw a texture on here. You're still going to get the black shadow unless you use the transmission node. The transmission node is going to allow you to cast the whatever's image on the uh, object and it's going to, you'll see the uh, colors for it. So see, so you can see there now I'm now casting through the object using this as kind of like a filter. And then you get this uh, instead of a shadow, you'll get the uh, almost like the light being projected onto the plane. So I can also add in another object here. No cast right on that object as well. It's got dark harsh shadow here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add an extra light to kind of fill in this this dark shadow so that we see something like that. I mean, I've got a quick little animation on this so you can see how it's interactively changing as the card turns and the light source is over here, it's projecting over to there. So you're actually being able to project this image and it could be any kind of image you throw in here. I throw this and see that it has the uh, circle color wheel here. If I throw on a new logo, it's casting new logo under there. Mari logo, and even just a solid color if you need a solid color cast. So the way this is set up is right now it's just running directly through without an alpha. It's just, if I were to add an alpha to this, which I have this text as an alpha, you have the option to have it cast through the alpha. So if we activate that, you can see this is my alpha. This is what I have, just the, the letter O. I change this to different things. You can see it's casting through the alpha now rather than through the plane itself. And this can be projected through either, like in this instance, I have it as a card. Uh, I have a couple other objects here as well. And this one was a cylinder. The cylinder allows me to get rid of the black outside on there and just really cast just a color wheel circle. So it's not casting that down the black as well. So you can see if I go take off my alpha. So if I were just to use it itself, it's casting that black. But if I just create a cylinder, cast and project this onto the end of the cylinder, and all I'm going to really have is just the color for that. I also have a sphere in here as well, just for demonstration purposes. You can see the colors on the sphere, light coming through that. If I use this as an example here, you can see how that's kind of working. So because this image is on both sides of my sphere, you're kind of getting a doubling up effect on the um, shadow that's casting there. So the way it's set up, I'll have my source, whatever that may be, up here. I'll use red for now. And you can either choose to use whatever geometry you want um, and add kind of whatever alpha you want in there. So if I add this text alpha here for the letter O, you can see it's casting through the O now. And below that, you want a transmission node that's connected to a diffuse or a fong or whatever kind of shader you want uh, to use. So that would come into this pipe and then you're gonna be mapping the source that you have selected here through the transmission. Okay, it doesn't end there though. So then after that, you're gonna put it onto whatever object you may want, which are whether it's a card, cylinder, cube, whatever kind of geo you might have, any specific geo, if it's a character or something like that, that's fine. And after that, you put it into a scene node. You wanna make sure that scene is lit by a light and has camera, so lights, camera, and action, which would be the scene. And then I just added in some extra geometry over here on the side, as far as, so you can see how it casts on other geometry as well. Uh, I have my plane here, which is just a white card. My cube is just white texture right now. I haven't added any texture or material or shader on that. And then it all has to actually run through the ray render node for to get these results here. Otherwise, it won't work through the scan line render node. You want to make sure your light has shadows to cast shadows on here. Um, choose full alpha or, or whatever you want to use on there. But it's a pretty basic setup, but it's pretty neat uh, results that you can get out of it. Any questions, feel free to ask.